What's up guys, back with another Captain Marvel review and as promised, here is the Bomber Jacket Captain Marvel Legends with Cat. Now the other figures should be showing up real soon, like really soon, as in like I'll probably have them in hand while you're watching this. So more Captain Marvel reviews are still incoming. And with that said, let's take this channel higher, further and faster and get this review started. And there she is guys, freed from the packaging. Now I have to say that's a pretty sweet jacket, so let's take a closer look. Now starting with the head, we get another Brie Larson face. Now straight off the bat, I have to say this isn't exactly my favorite Brie Larson face because it doesn't quite look like her in my opinion. I think the non-bomber jacket version resembles Brie Larson a lot more but then again that's my opinion what do you guys think but they did do a great job with all the sculpting and the contouring and the paint is very cleanly applied they even have the little mole on her face there and the wavy hair is actually pretty cool honestly I, I actually pretty dig it and the little highlights there are actually pretty nice too given that, that depth and that definition there I don't know which hair I like more honestly I think they both look great in their own way so uh, it's great to have both I think this hair is actually lighter, honestly, when you look at it. Huh. It's a darker blonde than the other one. And moving into the body, we get the awesome bomber jacket, which honestly looks pretty cool on her. It has a nice brown molded color to it, and it's got a lot of wrinkles sculpted in, giving it that nice cloth look. And if you look closely here, you can see they actually added some zipper detail to the edge there, which is sweet. The little zipper handle is actually right there. And they even added some piping detail on the bottom there for the elastic band that goes all the way around and is painted as well. And of course, you get more wrinkling on the back, a lot more, giving it more of that cloth look. And you also get this little logo printed on there. It's pretty cleanly applied, and I think that's actually the old Air Force logo. And then you got a little bomber jet on the bottom there. And it kind of, it almost kind of blends into the brown there. It doesn't stand out a lot. I don't know if they did that on purpose or if it's just the decal, but either way, it's it's pretty cool looking and I like it. And the jacket is nice and flexible. It's just added on there so you can actually, you know, kind of apply it off and you can see the awesome suit underneath. It looks like it's the same suit as the other one and it's just, uh, I, I'm not complaining because I love that suit. The, the blue there, the red and that symbol there, the gold. Oh. I love the Captain Marvel suit, although there is a little bit of paint differences. Now just from head on, from what you can see from the open jacket, they're actually exactly the same paint-wise, so it's pretty cool, but if you open up the jacket here, uh, pay attention, check this out, see how there's these gold little pieces over here, and how there's actually her gold, let me see how that, there's a little gold piece there, check this out, put that away, and the gold is missing, they didn't add the gold there nor did they add the gold piping up here, which is right there. So as you can see, they, they just kind of saved, I guess, money on paint application by not showing it, which isn't really a bad thing, because, I mean, the jacket's covering it, so meh. So it kind of gives you a reason to have both, you know? This one has more paint to it, so... So cool? So cool. And taking a look at the arms here, it's actually a completely different sculpt than the other one. There is a lot of nice wrinkling detail and then the little elastic band at the bottom and then you see her gloves sticking out which is just like the other one. And overall it just, it has the jacket look, not, not too much to, to say or complain about there. And yeah. And moving in the legs, we get more of that awesome blue metallic plastic and lots of suit detail and then the little accent gold and red there and then the red boots which are nice and vibrant and have a clean look to them and that gold piping but these are actually the exact same legs as the other one and as you can see if I don't show you the jacket you really can't tell the difference between the legs because they're the exact same legs but honestly overall I'm not complaining because I really like the suit design and I love the way they made it the paint and everything and then the sculpt so it's pretty nice although if you don't care about the bomber jacket the wavy hair or the cat then honestly there's, you know, you might, you could probably skip this unless you really want to build that Cree Sentry, then you kind of have to get this. And there's the bottom of the feet with the Lego Bumbo Jumbo. Although I am kind of feeling a Top Gun movie vibe with this bomber jacket here and um, hmm, I, I have an idea. Hey, check it out, it's Captain Marvel on a motorcycle. It's just like that scene where Tom Cruise is like riding around chasing that jet, you know, and like the, the cool Danger Zone song going and all that stuff, so. Uh, oh. Although her hands don't hold on to the handlebars, so that, that that could be that could be an issue. And for articulation, her head rotates 360 and has a little bit of side to side. The head can only go that far up because of the hair, but it does go way down. And the arm rotates 360 and has a pretty decent shoulder joint. Elbow is single jointed and goes about 90, not quite, but it does rotate as well. And the hand also rotates as well as having pivot. And you get the same torso joint as the other one with decent side to side. And going, it actually goes pretty far back, even though there's a jacket, and forward, it doesn't really hinder it, and it also rotates. You get the same decent splits, the same great forward, but not back because of the bootay. And of course, the usual thigh rotation, double jointed knee, ankle pivot, and rotation. 
Now I have a theory, since this is pretty much the same figure as the other one, I kind of wonder if the parts are interchangeable, because this one doesn't come with any extra hands or head, but this one does, so let's see if that is correct. Go ahead and pop off the heads on both of them. All right, let's take a look at those real quick, and yeah. It looks like they're exactly the same, just different colors, so let's go ahead and put the my favorite Brie Larson head on here, and oh. Oh yeah, I like that much better. Oh yeah. Okay, okay, now, now, now I really like this figure. Wait, I wonder about the hands. Let's pop off the old one here. All right, let's get this other non-jacket version pop that off there let's see if these joints are actually the same and yeah this is looking promising let's see if we can put the fist onto the bomber jacket and oh check that out she got the fist i got the fist on her so now she can actually punch somebody when she's in her jacket pop 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 hmm i wonder let's see if this head fits then that means this head should fit too and oh that's, huh, I'm, I am indifferent about that look. I am not, um, kind of cool? I, ooh, actually, I have an idea. All right, check this out. Here's a Black Widow that came with this motorcycle here that I showed earlier. And let's see if her hands pop off, because these hands actually can grab the handlebars so she won't fall off when she pops a wheelie. Oh, there we go. Comes off. Let's see if these, let's do a quick check there, see if they're the same. Yep, looks the same. Ooh, this looks promising. This looks promising. Get this hand on here. And, yeah. Oh, check that out. It fits. Oh, my. Oh, okay. We got to put her on the bike now. Check that out, guys. Is that cool or what? It's Captain Marvel with her mask on a motorcycle with her bomber jacket. Dude, that is a sweet look. Oh man. I don't know why she would need a motorcycle because she can fly, but woo, man. She looks awesome. I, just, oh. well, I don't know why I'm really excited about this. <laughs> now that's a top gun bike. Yeah. Hey, she doesn't fall off. Whee! Whee! Oh, it, uh, motorcycle. Need hand assisted rolling there. Whee! Oh. Uh, no, lost it there for a second. Wait, try that again. Whee! Oh, Jesus. Hey, so I, I felt like she was missing an accessory, and I, it, check this out. Hey, guys. What's up? <laughs> it's two captains on a motorcycle. It's Captain America and Captain Marvel on a motorcycle. Look at that. They're, they're riding. He's in the back because he's, you know, Captain America. I don't know why. He's just in the back because Captain Marvel is cooler. And we... Oh, Jesus. Okay, we got him back here. I don't know why I'm like really digging this. It just <laughs> it looks really cool. It's Captain America and Captain Marvel riding Black Widow's motorcycle. Although it could just be any motorcycle. It just, <laughs> it just looks cool. Because he rode a motorcycle in a movie and she doesn't need to. But still, he really, it's, 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 I, I don't know. Do you guys think it's cool or am I just kind of getting too excited about this for no reason? Meh, meh. No? Yeah. What was I doing? I forgot. Oh, that's right. And for accessories, she comes with this Kree Sentry Build-A-Figure piece, which I'm not sure if I'm going to build yet, but honestly, it, it looks kind of cool, so I, I I don't know. I, I might I might consider it. And she also comes with Goose the Cat here, which is oh, so cute. I'm actually really liking this cat, though. The sculpting is actually top-notch with all the fur and everything there. And it's actually, you know, bendy, but not too bendy, so it's stiff enough to hold its shape. And the paint is actually really nice. As you can see, it has a little fade going on that goes into the white right there and his eyes just check that out it's like this like gold to it which i love gold if you guys haven't figured that out already so that's pretty awesome then it's got the black in there which gives it a nice like galaxy look because he is an alien after all although what's kind of weird though is the paws like they, they got paint on that paw but not that paw not that paw and not really that paw it's it's almost like they're like let's paint the paw and then when they're like what about the other ones they're like Nah. And for some comparisons, here she is next to the other Captain Marvel Legends, my favorite one. The Marvel Legends, Chris Pratt. The Legends, Infinity Thor. And the Marvel Legends, Mantis. And finally, the Marvel Legends, Thanos. With a cannibalized leg from the apocalypse bath, the left one to be exact. But hey, you know what? Having two left legs is better than having one leg, right? And here's a better look at the nice packaging design with all the sweet artwork and awesomeness. And here's back with a better look of that sweet Brie Larson pick. Man, I really wish I knew who the artist was for all these Marvel Legend boxes. He's like, 
he or she, he or she are, is like really great. And of course there's wording there if you want to read that. And then the other figures which I will be getting very soon or already have by the time you're watching this. Except for these guys, still iffy. And here's bottom with the UPC. Well guys, overall this figure ain't too bad. While I'm not too fond of the face sculpt, I do really like the body and jacket and it can serve as a great permanent home for the other Brie Larson head. Anyways guys, like I said, more Captain Marvel toy reviews are on the way and I may actually be filming the next one by the time you watch this. Now I plan to film Yon Rock next because I really dig that suit, but after that it's up in the air. So I'll leave it up to you guys. Would you want to see Talos or Nick Fury after the Yon Rock review? Let me know in the comments below. And thanks for joining me on another review. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.